I'm Kane Dicer. This is Tynan, or Fro as he's better known. Today we're out just out off Darwin Harbour in the South Gutter. Now, it's the only really deep water close to Darwin. We're going to be trying to target a few goldies, some other reef fish and maybe a dewy. We've just come across the mark and we're just setting up now, finding our drift. We've got quite big tides up here in Darwin so your drift is important. Today we're on the neeps though, so there's minimal tide movement and we're going to try and use the eye pilot to hold us in position over the reef. A couple of factors you need to take into consideration is the wind, which way the tide's running and where you want to get your baits. So we're just going to sit here in neutral at the moment, see which way the current takes us. From there we can work out where we need to anchor. Now, I don't know what Bill's brought out today, but it's this freeze-dried bait company. Oh, I think maybe it's astronaut bait. They can use it in space if they are fishing up there. We now have instructions for bait on the back of this. First one is rip the top off it, soak it in water, seal it back up. Once it's all rehydrated, apparently this is going to put us onto some fish, so we'll see how we go with this. Freeze-dried squid, that's new for me. Let's see if the Territory fish actually like it. Well, this is astronaut seafood, isn't it, I think? Tastes like squid. Let's hydrate it and see how it goes. <laughs> You got a fish, Billy? On the freeze dried bait. <laughs> what have we got? An Indonesian snapper. Oh, I've got a fish out here too. These little guys, part of the Lajanus family, same as the golden snapper. They're not actually that great to eat, they do make excellent strip bait as well. We'll see what Kane's got here. Another of the same family. These are pretty common up here, these little guys. These guys suffer from barotrauma. So we're fishing in 40 metres at the moment. These guys definitely will not release and they will probably die in the next day or so if we do throw them back. So we'll just utilise them. So Fro, we're out here today on Darwin Harbour, fishing one of the many wrecks we've got here. And we're lucky enough that Darwin Harbour is blessed with plenty of wrecks. Cyclone Tracy obviously donated a few. World War II also donated a few, and the government has been busily sinking wrecks for recreational fishers and divers for a fair while now. Uh, what are some of the species that we're lucky enough to encounter here, mate? Well, they've just got so much to offer, Kane. You can come out here and just like we've done today, target the black jewfish or even golden snapper, which are normally tucked up under the bows of these boats or just right in the wrecks. But you also get your cod species. But one of the really cool things about them, you get your massive pelagic swarms off the top of them. All right, now what we're fishing here is a secret little mark Kane's got, which is actually an artificial wreck, and it has life all over it, is all I can say about that. It's not giving us a great picture because we're actually sitting right on top of it at the moment. Look at that sounder. I think we're in for some excitement here. Fish on. What do you got there, Kane? Talk to me. I think I've got a little goldie, mate. By the feel of this one. Oh, okay. How long were you on the bottom there for, mate? Exactly two seconds, I reckon. <laughs> I just clicked it in the gear. And it is too, mate. Golden snapper. Golden snapper. Golden snapper or finger mark. So we're going to keep this guy. They are beautiful eating. We cook them whole, fill them up. Probably one of the tastiest fish in the sea. Yep. Just gone off the bait, put a plastic on, jigging it around. And something small has decided to jump on board. Let's see what we got. Different species. A blue salmon. One thing that is true about them, they are absolute psychos. So I'll get this thing under control and get this rubber back in the water. Ooh, I might have to go to bait, boys. Actually, no, no, stick to your guns. We got a rock cod. Estuarine rock cod on the freeze-dried bait. He's winning. Astronaut bait is winning. The good thing about it is it, it's, it's tough and it'll stay on there as well. All right, we've just found a nice ledge out here in the deep. We're gonna drop some baits down. Now we're just gonna do a basic pattern So just for the sinker at the bottom here, small figure of eight. Nice and easy, I'll just trim that line up. Now up here with our tides, I like a nice long pattern rig. About the same length as the sinker hanging off the bottom. Let's get your 10 turns there. Always make sure 
plenty of spit with the pattern Oster. If you pull that tight and it feels hot, cut it and re tight because I don't like feeling any heat in those knots because it has weakened it while you do tighten it. And those weakened parts normally seem to let go when you're onto a good fish. So definitely make sure it's perfect. We'll trim that one up there. With that, already with a swivel, let's tie this one straight onto here. Simple blood knot there will be fine. And with this pattern, also, like I said before, I like to have them about the same length as a sinker. So in our tides up here, it hangs out like nice presentation in the tide. Ready for that nice golden snapper to slurp it up. Yeah. Goldy. <laughs> <laughs> that looks alright there, Kane. Yeah, this one's giving me a bit more stick. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, oh. And that is not good. <laughs> I just had a really good bite halfway out through probably some dodgy rod work. It got off. People always ask whether they actually spooked themselves and I like to just make the comparison that if you were standing in the middle of the African savannah and your mate came running screaming past you, you're going to hang around and wonder what he was screaming about? I don't think so. You're so just going to run too, aren't you? I think you just go with him. <laughs> now I just changed tactics before and rigged up that bait. I think it's been in the water for about two minutes and it has been absolutely smoked. Plus, Bill's got a hook up in the background, so it's all happening out here at the moment with a double hook up. And I don't know what this is yet, I'm hoping it's a mackerel. It took a lot of line off me quickly. And this isn't really the outfit for chasing mackies, I'm just um, playing around on the lighter gear and Bill's just got his fish up, which isn't a fish. He's a shark. The astronaut bait has got the man in the grey suit. And I'm away again too. Oh, staying down deep at the moment. You might have a shark too. Just does pay, it does pay guys when you are out here, just be versatile, make sure you've got all the gear. And we were targeting reef fish, but like we said, we saw something different, quickly changed tactics, and it can quickly change the day in your favour. There's no point sitting out here going, I wish yeah. I brought the gang hooks. Make sure you've got everything in the boat. <clears throat> and this thing here, I haven't seen it yet, but it's away again. And like you said, Fro, you know, we've got a lot of rods on board, but I don't think you can ever have too many, you know. We've got them, always get them rigged up before you come out, have leaders on them, be prepared to act in an instant, because... That was nearly pretty messy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just a bit caught up talking with you, Kane. That was just brilliant. <laughs> After all that, it's turned out to be a black tip reefy hooked under the chin. Hence the strange fight. So well, that was a bit of an anti-climax, mate. Oh man, I was hoping that was the Mackie. Yep, fish on. Fish on. Dewey, get him out, Kane, get him out, that's it. So important, these first parts when you hook up, these fish are trying to go straight back into the wreck. You see here, Kane doesn't really have much time to talk or do anything other than pump and whine. <laughs> Come on, Kane, have you got him yet? Come on. He's turned, he's turned, he's turned. Oh, get him out, get him out, mate. Come on. Wow, he's done a great job there. Can you speak yet, Kane? No! No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they gave him some curry there. He's got 50 pound braid on there, and I don't think that line could get pushed to any more extremes than what it just copped then. Ugh. Have a look at this. It's those first vital moments when you hook up with these guys, you've got to turn their head. And even then, you're still only 50% chance once you got him out of actually getting the fish to the top. Because we're hit, sitting so close to the wreck, there's not a single moment here Kane can actually stop and try and relax and fight this one, is there? <laughs> Either way again. <laughs> and I, I'll show you after this fish just how tight this drag is. And he was pulling it with disrespect. I'm judging your drag by the groans that are coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've that's got away. drag and thumb. <laughs> I reckon you've got him turned now, mate. Oh, I can't believe how hard this fish is still going. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Might look that big groper, mate. 
Rain too hard at first you would have. Mmm. Might have got eaten. Yeah, this wreck fishing is brutal. It's rightly named wreck fishing because I'm pretty wrecked at the moment. <laughs> It is an awesome way to come out and chase the bait fishing. It adds that extra element, doesn't it, Kane? It does, mate. It's not just hooking a fish and winding him up. You've got this. You've got to get him out of that habitat, which can be so tough, and it is an absolute stonker dewfish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that... Yeah, mate, I got your rod. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. I, I am broken. <laughs> That is what we're here for. That is a cracker. Top of fishing we're lucky enough to get up here in Darwin. Cracking black dewfish. Look at that, you can see where he's been hit by a shark or something when he was younger. They're pretty resilient, these fish. But they do suffer barotrauma too, mate, don't they? All it means is we just can't catch and release these guys, can we? Nah, I mean, that, that fish there is gonna feed three families, so I'm done. I'm done anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy with this guy, take him home and you can see if you can get one for you and your extended family. <laughs> up to date with everything the fishing show crew is up to including our latest competitions and prize giveaways head over to our facebook page afn the fishing show and if you're keen for content afn tv is now free to join with over a thousand videos at your fingertips plus tip and tactics from bill and myself